Foxy Cipri. Good girl. Look at that face. Is it Smarky here at Colorist Canine? Um, I was doing some gardening and I thought I'd do a little video today of the dogs. I'm going to do a little feeding routine with them and I'll do a little walk and what our little walk of, um, is like today. Sorry about the incline of videos because there's not been much really happening. Um, when he's actually started getting some puppy acne, this is just something that Bronnie always gets anyways. So, yep, I'm going to start giving him some medication and stuff. Or I'm going to actually look up at some, um, maybe some herbal or dietary things that I could change. Just to see if that helps with it. Because sometimes they could, um, I've heard like things like pumpkin and that help. Which I have given them pumpkin before, but because his face is flaring up, I thought maybe I'll try it again. So, yep, my next video will be me feeding the dogs. Okay, so hi guys, um, yep, I'm just quickly doing a little voice, so hey Rox, um, yeah, so this is a little container that I put their food in in the fridge so it don't go off, that's a little green fork so we don't eat with it, because you know, who knows what happens these days, it's locked down, we might accidentally get confused, but yep, there we go, yep, so this is what I feed them, it's Lily's Kitchen, I give them about a quarter of it at a meal time, so if you want to read the back, just pause it, it's probably boring it just shows the meat content what size and all of this yeah and that's Lou's kitchen they eat Lou's kitchen it works really well for them okay so this is me mashing up the food in the bowl it's a little bit of wet food as I said I give them about a quarter of it um yeah and their bowls are from Amazon and their charcoal bowls Amazon sponsor me please okay so this is me doing Roxy's Roxy gets the same food just the puppy version and yeah, they both get about a quarter each, as I said. So the food lasts them around like two, three days, like around two and a half days. So yeah, they only get wet food in the afternoon. That's me with my dirty flip flops with the dogs that I use. And yeah, this is me dishing it out for them. I'll show you how much biscuits. This is me giving biscuits to Ronnie. He gets about a quarter of a cup of Lee's Kitchen dry food, chicken and veg. And Roxy gets exactly the same. She they are on diets because I don't want them to get fat because we don't do with any fat bitches here. Um, except me. But yeah, that that's their food that's be pouring it in. It's quite boring to be honest. It isn't a great dog haul, but well it isn't a dog haul, a dog feeding time routine. Um, this is a container I bought from Amazon again. I thought it'd be bigger, it didn't come bigger, but you know what can we do? It's too late now. This is about how much I give them, I'm just showing you, yep, that's it, I've got, got a little lid on top, oh, there's, okay, so this is the coconut oil, I give them coconut oil on their food, you can pause it to read the back, this is me undoing it, but I only had one hand, so yeah, I had to use the bottom of the fork to mix it in, but then I realised I have to touch that, so I might as well just use my fingers, um, yeah, coconut oil is really good. I always get compliments on my dog's fur and how soft it is. I think that's down to coconut oil because there's no other reason, really. Okay, so now you're going to see me use my fingers because I realised that if I use the other side of the fork, I'm going to get dog, thing, dog food on my hands either way. So now I'm mixing it in because it needs a good mix-up. Um, yeah, I thought about putting it back in. I thought, no. Yep, let me do that up. You can see my crusty toes. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, there's Ronnie with his goggly eyes and Roxy eating her food. Yeah, she... Oh, get out of that. See, this is one bad thing. They are so used to people coming to the park and because she's a, Roxy's a puppy now, she's got into this horrible habit because people get treats out their bag. She thinks she can go, to, go over to everyone's bag. And it's becoming such a nuisance. I've had to nip that in the bud. Like, every time she's doing it, I'm giving her, like, a harsh... Um, tone of voice correction and she does listen 99% of the time but she is it's just an annoying habit like it's a really annoying habit to get out of and it's a really annoying habit to have in the first place because it's not like common it's not something you see all the time it's just because everyone gives her treats and so now she thinks everyone wants to give her treats and they like she's getting too old as well to start to keep on jumping on people because she's people like will advise like advocate for her to come to them and try and tempt her towards them and then stroke kind of stuff and now she's gotten onto a habit of jumping on people it's just really annoying um gosh i don't know if you can see that but there's actually a guitarist over there <laughs> 
course the things that are going on in the middle of a pandemic as well but yeah oh when you're doing these pee um yeah that, that, that's just like one of those things i mean she's still puppy it'll be quite easy to train out of her and she is nearly there i am getting there with her it's just at the moment that she is her ears always flip over like that as well gosh people must think that she's a little pit bull with cropped ears sometimes like the way they always flip over and i'm telling you the looks i get sometimes with these dogs like people think i've stolen them or something because i guess a 20 year old doesn't look like he should have two pugs especially like designer pugs um so yeah and also one other thing i purchased so i bought the dog water for it didn't work that well so i've grabbed this it was like seven pound from primark and i just fill it up with water and it's for the dogs now and i'm telling you with the other water bottles they would run out but with this they've it's, it's helped like they never run out of water i always have water even when i'm about to go home i'm saying if you had a bigger dog then maybe you would need to refill it but with them and they drink a lot of water sorry with them they drink a lot of water as well and it's worked out for them like they are fine with it and we always have more left over so yeah that's like one good thing about them um and i would if you're in the uk and you have a primark next year or anywhere i guess those water balls are kind of notorious for being sold everywhere it's just i've only seen it in um primark because that's where i was but they're probably in other places as well Shh, leave 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 Shh, move move away move now Shh. yeah literally they they um yeah they, it's, it worked much better than the other water bottles i had so i thought you know what let me keep this one and you know i'll just give the others or you know keep them just for keep just in case i need them which water balls is something that you always probably need if we're going on a long journey i could bring an extra one just in case um and yeah that's it really what are you doing with that talking in your mouth what are you doing leave it alone but yeah, now we can just enjoy our walk, guys. That's it, really. It's just a boring day and story for boring you with this vlog. But I thought I'd upload something just to show how things are going with the colorist canine gang. Know what you're saying? You're flying higher than a plane, and I'm not complaining. It's getting too loud. We'll figure it out. I'm out of my brain. Your t-shirt is ripped, and it's all the same. You don't know my name. Identical 